them always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today we're gonna be talking about the lookbook for Supreme Fall Winter 2020. This year has been crazy to say the least. One thing that has remained the same is these Supreme drops on Thursdays. They're officially coming back. If you hear any noise in the background, low key there's a tsunami. And like bro, shit is crazy out there. And low key it just started, so I don't even get it. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about this lookbook. I'm not gonna cover every single item because I don't want to be here for like 30 minutes 40 minutes just talking about it so i'm gonna scroll through see what i like and then i'm gonna show you guys what i like like stupid it is what it is i'm gonna show you some dookie some good if you guys do enjoy this video slap a fat like on it down below if you're interested in any supreme news go ahead and subscribe to the channel because i cover every single week's drop list and you definitely don't want to miss out all you have to do is subscribe down below bro that's all i'm asking of you but without any further ado man let's go ahead and get straight into this video and we're back, people. It's about that time. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the lookbook for Supreme. Cause some came in the mail today. The preview, we got some heat that I definitely do wanna cover. This season is gonna be crazy. So slap a like button if you're interested in what's about to happen. So we're already on the Supreme website right here. I'm gonna try and run through it quickly cause there's a bunch of shit to go through. Boom, we got these jackets. This is the King Hooded Varsity. This is kinda cool. It says in God we trust all around it. Has Supreme 20. 2020 on it this globe m1 jacket actually doesn't look that bad i think it's actually pretty cool low key it's like a whole world on it with a little supreme logo on the back it's nothing too over the moon but it has the little supreme box logo on the front but we got this gore-tex jacket that's all right we got the reversible hooded jacket which is the one that we saw on the teaser i actually want to see this one a little bit more up close this one doesn't look that bad the reversible side is actually clean as well i hope that the reversible side does have branding but you can't even tell to be honest Honest. that's all right we got this puffy coat we got this fox racing which i do hope they do another collab as well this jacket is actually hard in my opinion i really kind of do like this one it's simple got the fox branding got supreme on four different places it looks all right bro it low key is a var what is going on in this one right here i don't know exactly what's going on but i do like the whole patchwork these different like pictures stitched onto this jacket shit looks fire in my opinion I kind of got to look at it a little bit more in detail to really decipher what's going on. That's tough. I'm gonna leave that one right there. We got the Smurfs Gore-Tex jacket. This one is actually hard, bro. You got the Supreme Smurf jacket. This one's gonna go for bread. Mark my words, the resale on the shit is gonna be crazy. If the retail isn't crazy, the resale will definitely be good, but it is Gore-Tex, so this shit might be a L waiting to happen. We got that one in three different colorways, black, arc denim jacket this shit is fire it's like this lsd looking print fire in my opinion three different colorways on that one this reversible color block fleece is gonna be one of the fleeces that go for crazy money i can already tell simply by the supreme box logo branding on it shit is gonna go for bread bro i'm not even gonna lie to you guys low-key i would like to have this one because it looks pretty clean but i just know what's gonna happen with the whole fleece effect it's fire though nonetheless i'm gonna keep scrolling through right here we got this marble jacket it's all right this piping track jacket they do that often this watch is reversible puffy is kind of cheeks i'm not gonna lie but this micro down puffy jacket is fire bro if this was a tnf design or like collaboration you already know this shit would hit numbers but it's not so shit hopefully people sleep on this one because this is a fire jacket in my opinion i'm gonna leave that one right there hopefully y'all skip that part low-key my favorite collection that i've seen so far is this aerial tapestry jacket this shit is fire bro this jacket is insane in my opinion the branding is on the money you got the empire state building dead on the front it's like the sunset effect on it this shit is just beautiful bro low-key i would love to have this jacket and if resale isn't neck cracking in this bitch, I'm gonna go for this one. We got the penguins hooded fleece. That shit could take a seat. This side logo jacket is all right, bro. It's nothing special. The chains quilted stuff that I would sleep on on the release day. But we do got this Smurfs jacket right here. Got that Supreme on the front. Supreme Smurfs logo on the back. It's like a cartoony effect on it. I really do hope that they have different designs, not just this. Because low key, this would be kind of a bummer. But if I were to get a color, 
there would be that black one. We got some more jackets, some shit that honestly doesn't even catch my eye. This Supreme Varsity Contrast Stitch. That's pretty much it for the jackets. There's some cool shit in there, but low key, I'd be skipping the shirts. I'm gonna go through it real quick. We got this blow down rayon. That's kind of cool for the summertime, but it's about to be winter. We got the penguins rayon. We got a bunch of different rayons that low key, I probably will just sleep on on release day. This black arc rayon is actually pretty hard. This one hopefully comes in that black colorway, which is insane. Oh, there was a design in there that I actually liked. Hold on. This receipt rayon shirt is actually not bad. Yeah, the receipt rayon isn't that bad, but it might be a little bit cheesy. I don't know. That's I. Right. Besides that shit is dookie. Let's go ahead and get into the tops and sweaters. You got the two Smurfs pieces right at the top. That's actually pretty clean. You got the fuck sweater as well. I don't know if you guys remember, but they did a chair with that design that low-key is going for big bread right now. But there's a bunch of sweaters in here that I low-key really don't care about. Like, it's just a bunch of shit that I can live without. There's a bunch of shit that I don't really need. I do kind of like this woven long sleeve top though. This is like an Everlast inspired logo. I think it's pretty cool, but honestly, I would pass on it. We got this polo right here, which has the Supreme branding on the sides where the pits go. That's all right. We got this Supreme scene or street scene shirt, which I feel like is a banger in my opinion. Loki, I would love to have this one right here. It kind of looks like a vintage New York street type vibe on a shirt. I love this shirt right here. And it's probably one of the ones that I would pay that $90, $80 for. I wouldn't really care about that one. We got this plaid arc logo. If you guys know, they typically do like an arc logo that's colorful that's what this is right here this is gonna come out in like five six different colorways which isn't that bad but that does it for the top so let's get into sweatshirts we got this box logo bro honestly this shit is crazy i feel like low-key at first when i saw it it didn't grow on me that much because it was like a box logo on a box logo but low-key the more i look at it the more i think it's fire it reminds me of the red cross if you guys know what that is that's pretty much the people that help out everybody in the world the colorway are sick in my opinion that olive green is just nuts you got like this faded navy blue the colors are definitely there for this one the black one is clean hands down need one of these in the arsenal bro i do want to say that the supreme lookbook is crazy this season and if you're trying to secure some of these items the best way to go ahead and do it is by checking out addict.io i am going to link them at the top of the description for you guys to go ahead and check it out especially with these new box logos that are going to come out in december you guys are going to want to go ahead and check out addict.io because they did succeed throughout the whole season last season addict.io is probably one of the best ios bots and they actually are sold out at the moment but if you guys are trying to check them out once they do restock all you're gonna have to do is go to addict.io and sign up for the newsletter so whenever they do restock the bot you are the first to get notified you can also use my promo code astro10 to get 10 percent off of your order and if you can't afford it use sezzle to separate it into four different payments this bot actually covers 85 plus different stores from supreme palace bape undefeated kit and a bunch more honestly you definitely don't want to miss out on checking out addict io they recently even added yeezy supply and adidas to the bot to help you secure these yeezys that be coming out just make sure to go ahead and check out addict io it will be linked at the top of the description the setup process is like 30 seconds bro you get the keywords from their discord put it on the bot add your size the color you want it's self-explanatory and you're good to go bro it's the simplest bot I've used to this point, which makes it good because it's not that time consuming. But this box logo is fire, bro. We got this Smurfs hoodie right here. Ah, that's kind of ass, bro. That's kind of ass. That's crazy. Why they do it like that? Damn, that's a bummer, bro. I hope they do a Smurfs T or some shit because the hoodie is ass. Why did they do it in a tonal? This could have been so much better if it just had color on it. Like, y'all always got to let us down. The Smurfs shit could have been fire if they just would have added some color to that bitch that shit would have been hard but they didn't so it is what it is but we do have this aerial crew neck which is once again one of my favorite designs that i've seen in the lookbook so far it's like this plane carrying this sign super clean you got the empire state building in there it just looks perfect in my opinion this couldn't be any better the colorways are fire as well definitely a fan of that black the cream the burgundy and the navy i would be fine with either one of these i'm not even the type of person to wear that many crew next and this one right here i would go nuts for bro low-key i would pay resell for this crew neck right here it has my hometown city on there it got the supreme branding on there what more can you ask for low-key we also do have this toshio tokyo 
looking ass collaboration, which low key, I feel like is another banger. This plumish color on this hoodie is crazy. And I feel like the branding is a little bit, hey, it's a little bit out there, but it looks clean. And I feel like this stitched on patch thing is really fire. If you guys know, every season we get an S logo or every fall, winter, we get an S logo. And we're gonna go ahead and get another S logo this season as well. I did miss out last season. So this one, I might try and go ahead and get another one. I don't really have any red Supreme hoodies. So I might go for that in red or navy because I don't have either of those colors. But we do have this Jules hooded sweatshirt. It's a Supreme logo with a whole bunch of different jewels inside of it. That's all right. Nothing too special in my opinion. You got this globe logo again on the back of your head right there. Looking clean, but you got that small ass Supreme branding on the side. I'm good on that one right there. This anti-hooded sweatshirt is cool. Nothing too special. This black arc sweater is actually hard, bro. It says LSD on there. Supreme black arc, whatever. This shit is fire. It's like an all over print hoodie, which is super clean in my opinion. It comes in two colors. Both colors are fire. I'd be cool with either one of those. We got this spray hooded sweatshirt, which is like this over dyed looking sweater. This LSD hooded sweatshirt is fire bro there's so much going on on this piece right here you got black on the sleeves a whole bunch of shit going on on the actual piece a whole bunch of shit going on on the actual piece super clean i'm gonna go ahead and skim through this shit though because there's a lot to talk about you got the fratura crew neck low-key fratura collabs go crazy and i feel like this is another one where hey you can't sleep on it bro this is gonna come out in like six seven different colorways every colorway is fire low-key i'm leaning towards that royal blue because they normally don't do that and that crew neck with the royal toe ones fire we got a whole bunch more hoodies bro i'm not even gonna cover them we got this peace hoodie which i kind of do like simply because of the font they use that old english font is fire and that black colorway for this hoodie would definitely have to come home with me but we're gonna get out of the hoodies we're gonna get into some t-shirts i'm skipping pants and shorts for now if y'all want to see that let me know down below there's just too much shit to cover we got the t-shirts which is probably one of the things i really do want to cover this pharaoh Sanders joint is a high. I feel like the t-shirts are looking okay. They're not looking the best, but this Fratura shirt is actually a banger. Definitely want that one. It says Justice for All on the back. Fratura Supreme on the front. Can't go wrong with it. You got like this CAPTCHA logo on this Supreme Verify shirt. That's a high. It's nothing too special. You got this Lover's Tee, which low-key I think is a fire one. Especially in that forest green, you normally don't see that color. So that shit is fire. This multi-logo shirt is okay. It's just almost every supreme logo on a shirt it's just almost every supreme logo on a shirt i feel like this black colorway would do it justice but besides that bro is not much like this jet t is all right it reminds me of like a vintage shirt this supreme shirt is okay too bro like i just feel like it's kind of played out but the multicolor thing is pretty cool this stay positive t is a banger low-key i don't have no camel tees and this would be the first one it says supreme in spirit stay positive i am always improving i can do more my mind is clear i feel stronger and stronger i do it now i remember my goals supreme is with me that's hard in my opinion you got the supreme nueva york or nuova york i don't know what is going on with that one but you got this tire tee which low-key we could have done without like bro what the fuck is this this is kind of cheeks in my opinion this pharaoh sanders tee i don't know how to feel i don't even know who this is i'm not gonna lie he looks like a jazz musician <sighs> i feel like at a certain point they need to do something like the nas the gucci something more relevant Event, but it is what it is pay your respects low-key a cat williams photo t would have been fire like bro give us some heat like what are you doing i know there's some people who will like this right here but come on let's be realistic we got these bags right here we got the backpack which is coming in a cheetah print every bag is coming in like four different colorways and right here we got the sling bag i feel like they haven't done one of these in a minute low-key my favorite color that i could see right here is the olive i feel like it definitely looks clean and it's something you don't see all the time if i was to pick up a bag which honestly i don't even know if i'm gonna do it i might pick it up for the review but it would be this book bag right here i feel like i'm missing a book bag and it wouldn't hurt to have a black supreme book bag or even an olive one can't go wrong with either one of those we got this zip tote a small looking tote bag it looks clean but i just don't know if i'll be picking that up we got another duffel which is like a mini duffel i think this is i bro i just don't know bags are looking cool it's not looking anything extravagant i don't even think we got a shoulder bag this season we got another waist bag this is the same shit they drop almost every season 
in like four different colorways. You can see it right here. It looks all right, but this canvas bag is probably my favorite shit out of the whole bag section. This black one is a banger. I feel like it's pretty small, but it definitely does the job. That white with the red is fire. And then the black on black, you can't go wrong with. If I was to pick one up, I'll probably go for the black on black just to keep it real simple. Bags are looking all right. We got this neck pouch. We don't even got a shoulder bag, but honestly, I don't know how I feel about the bags. They look all right. We got the hats. I'm gonna probably skip on, bro. It's too much shit going on. I gotta talk about these accessories and bro, bro, bro. As soon as you open the accessories, one of the first things you see is this. They're coming out with an arcade machine, bro. What the fuck? This is nuts. This is nuts, bro. I really hope this is one of the ones that cost like 300 at Walmart because I want this, bro. If I can buy this for a thousand, I would pay a thousand for this shit. Call me crazy if you want. This is just nuts, bro. This shit is fire. Like low key, the high ticket items when it comes to Supreme, I typically stay away from because they're super expensive, but this one could possibly be like $600 and resale will be like a thousand, something around there. I will pay that for this machine. This shit is crazy, bro. Mortal Kombat, that's crazy, bro. I, I, yo, 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 that shit is hard. We got the Jacob and Co. Wow with the actual diamonds in it coming out. This shit is fire, but it's definitely an item that I can't even afford, so I'm not even going go there with it. We got this chain, which is all right. This shit is gonna cost like $500. I'm good on that shit. We already spoke about that. We got the lipstick coming out. Good on that shit. Might just buy it, but I don't know. We got this like couch bed memory foam mattress looking ass. I don't even know what this is, but I need it regardless. That shit is hard. It's a foldable mattress couch sofa thing. Shit is hard. The fish bowl is coming out mark my words i'm gonna buy a fish if i get the bowl bro this shit is fire i feel like i said that shit like a million times but y'all just gotta understand it's fire bro like come on we got the supreme toothpaste <laughs> yo this shit is crazy bro what the fuck we got supreme toothpaste coming out this season if i could buy eight of these shits i'm buying eight that's so fire we got the chucky doll low-key i don't think i'm buying this shit because i'm not trying to wake up in the middle of the night creep the fuck out if i do buy it this bitch is staying in the cut somewhere because yo i he can talk oh hell no he can talk. I'm good on the he can talk part. Like we got this canteen in case you're running out of gas in your car. This holds five liters, pretty clean. This portable lamp is actually hard as well. Just a bunch of shit. This vase is kind of dookie. This watch plate, why is it a plate? It's all right though, nonetheless. This microphone is actually clean if you're into doing karaoke. You feel me? That's fire. We got another Supreme chair. This is the Dominican birthday party chair, the baby shower chair, whatever you want to call it this is what it is the black one is clean the red one is clean i'm probably gonna go for it oh we got a projector coming out a fucking projector bro yo that's fire bro it kind of looks like a speaker i'm not gonna lie but this is a fucking projector that is crazy son i feel like supreme always outdoes themselves that's why they stay so relevant we got a step stool coming out which low key this shit is still fire i would get the black the blue or the red i'm cool with it we got the basketball that was supposed to release last season we already spoke about that these cards are fire i would pay resale for the cards definitely a huge fan the binoculars whatever we got the wrench which is fire as well Oh, bro there's so much heat coming out so Robski zippo lighter this shit is gonna be more expensive which kind of is a bummer but it's still clean we got the mini flask if you're trying to get litty three titties in this bitch this folding knife definitely has to come home with me this shit is so clean i feel like it gives me old vibes yo what am i tripping or are they dropping a jumper cable like bro jumper cables but with a little power station so you can fucking power up your car with supreme now like what is going on all right we about to start skipping they got the hello my name is vibes right here with the little stickers this phone case is fire hopefully they don't tax on that because that is actually pretty clean this foldable like twistable this foldable twistable water bottle right here air force ones are coming back low-key i could get myself a pair of whites this time because low-key i took the l we got more hanes shit more hanes shit this harmonica keychain is all right bro nothing too special we got that shit we got this which low-key i need this keychain for my car keys yo the aerial design is the best shit i'm trying to tell you that shit is so clean we got the 
jet design, which low key is fire because every skate deck is different, which if you have the set, it would look pretty clean. The camo logo skateboard is clean in my opinion, especially the case. I definitely need one of those if I do get the new phone because I am low key backed up. But we got the balloon skateboard, that's all right. This like pill skateboard, that's all right. The black art, that's all right. Skate tool, that's all right. A bunch of shit, that's all right. Low key, that's it, bro. I didn't cover the hats, which I do apologize for, but at the end of the day, this shit is so long. We got the cross box logo beanie, which low key does look pretty fire. I love the fact that they put it at the top rather than on the front, how they usually do. It definitely gives it a different taste, a different flavor, which I am a fan of. I'm really excited about this season. If you guys did enjoy this video, slap a fat like. I'm gonna try to get this out on the day that the lookbook released, but low key, I did have work today, and this is either gonna be out really late today or really early tomorrow. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. Slap a fat like on this one. If you get this video to 200 likes, I promise you guys I'll drop a video talking about my favorite pieces releasing this season. Maybe the ones that'll have the highest resell. I'll just cover some of my favorite items, maybe top 25, because there's a lot of shit that I do love. But subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Let me know what kind of videos you would like me to make in the comments below. Now, without any further ado, man, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out. Never see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make a feel, yeah.